The Three Billy Goat Gruffs Upon a hillside lived three billy goats. There was a little billy goat, medium billy goat, and a big billy goat. Gruff was their last name. And for many miles around, they were known as the Three Billy Goat Gruffs. They dearly loved their hillside meadow. But it had grown bare. A bleak winter had stripped away the grass. And all that remained were a few measly green tufts, scattered sparingly amongst the mud and rocks. Higher up the hill stood a lush green meadow, filled with a bounty of finest, juiciest long grass. To the billy goat, it simply looked sublime. By golly, thought the little billy goat gruff. All of this luscious grass up there. I must go straight away to eat bellies full of it. So that I can grow as big as my biggest brother. The little billy goat trotted off to the lush meadow. Without telling either of his brothers where he was going. Tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap, tap, tap. Before long, he came across a great river. Stretching across the river was a magnificent stone bridge. Unbeknown to the little billy goat, it belonged to a beastie troll. The b- little billy goat had not taken more than a few steps onto the bridge when a great blowing voice boomed from below. Who goes there? roared the troll. It is me, the littlest billy goat gruff, he replied in a high-timbed voice. The troll raised his ugly face from beneath the bridge and said it in a sinister voice. This is my bridge, littlest billy goat gruff. And this is where your journey will end, as I will now gobble you up for my breakfast. The little billy goat was terribly shaken by this, but he steadied himself and managed to reply. Mr. Troll, you are such a magnificent creature, such a very little goat as I would surely not fill your hungry belly. I have a brother who is a deal bigger Then I am. Wait till he comes and you'll have a much better meal. A great deal bigger, you say, said the troll. Oh, oh yes, Mr. Troll. Very well. You may pass, said the troll. Not wanting to waste a single moment, the little billy goat made his way briskly across the bridge. Tippity-tap, tippity-tap, tippity-tap. And once he was safely over, he ran as fast as his little legs would carry him to the lush meadow, and he began munching on long grass. Meanwhile, back on the barren hill, the medium billy goat looked up at the lush meadow in wonder. Look at all of that luscious grass up there. They must go straight away to eat bellies of it so that it can grow just as big as my big brother. The medium billy goat trotted off to the lush meadow. He too didn't tell his big brother where he was going. Tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap. (laughs) Before long, he too came across the great river at the magnificent stone bridge. And he too did not know this bridge belonged to the beastie troll. Me and Billy Goat had not taken more than a few steps onto the bridge when a great blowing voice boomed out from below. Who goes there? It is me, medium Billy Goat, gruff. He replied in a slightly lower voice. The troll raised his ugly head from underneath the bridge. This is my bridge, medium Billy Goat, gruff. And this is where your journey ends. I will now gobble you up for my lunch. The medium billy goat too was shaken, but he steadied himself and replied calmly. 
Mr. Jewel, you are such a magnificent creature. Such a medium-sized billy goat as I would surely not fill your hungry belly. I have a brother who is a deal bigger than I am. Wait till he comes. You'll have a much better meal. A great deal bigger, you say, said the Jewel. Oh, yes, Mr. Jewel. Very well, you may pass, said the Jewel. Not wanting to waste a single moment, the medium billy goat made his way briskly across the bridge. Tippity tap, tippity tap, tippity tap. <laughs> and once he was safely over, he ran as fast as his legs would carry him onto the lush meadow. He too began munching on the juicy grass. Now came the turn of Billy Gist, Billy Goat Gruff. He'd been much too busy scouring the barren hill for something to eat to realize his brothers were gone. When he looked up and saw them gazing happily in the lush, just hilltop meadow, oh my, thought the biggest bull goat, I must join my brothers in the delightful meadow. So the biggest billy goat set off to the meadow. Clumpity clump, clumpity clump, clumpity clump, clump, clump. Before long, he too came across the great river and the magnificent stone bridge. And just like his two brothers before him, he did not know this bridge belonged to the beastly troll. The biggest billy goat had not taken more than a few steps out onto the bridge when a great bellowing voice boomed out from below. Who goes there? It is me, the biggest billy goat, he replied in a strong, confident voice. The troll raised his ugly head from beneath the village. This is my bridge, biggest billy goat gruff. And this is where your journey will end. Now we'll gobble you up for supper. The billy goat was not shaken one little bit. In fact, he found the troll's threat quite amusing. He was, after all, the biggest, strongest billy goat gruff. And he was not afraid of anything. Ha! You do make me laugh, troll, he said. The troll, incensed by this, quickly jumped upon the bridge. Let it out an angry roar and began to charge at the biggest billy goat. To this, the biggest billy goat calmly bent down his front legs and bowed his head, exposing two great horns on his head like a knight drawing his sword. Then, without a delay, he charged back. Moments later, there was a mighty collision. As the dust began to settle, it became clear that only one figure remained on the bridge. The dusty figure began to move. Clumpity clump, clumpity clump, clumpity clump. It was the biggest billy goat gruff, making his way over to the big luscious meadow. So what happened to the beastie troll? You see, the biggest billy goat had generated such a force that the troll had flung up into the air over the side of the bridge and carried down the great river. From that day forward, the horrid troll was never to be seen again. The three billy goat gruffs were happily reunited in the lush hilltop meadow, and they each had a plenty full of juicy grass. In fact, the little billy, to the little and medium billy goat, ate so much grass that before long you could not tell one billy goat gruff from each other. The end.